The next call was the car shed. Pat Pat was having trouble with the ray too. Hello Pat, he said. Jeeps drip on the left and right underneath. Good heavens, said Pat. There were buckets everywhere, with water drip dripping into each one. Pat Pat didn't like doing all the moving when the drips were all everywhere. The roof isn't what it was, said Pat Pat. I'll ask Ted Glenn to bring his ladders and have a look at that roof said Pat. He'll be able to fix it, I'm sure. Thanks, Pat. That would be a great help. Just put the letters on the desk. There aren't any drips there. Bye. Bye, then. Just along the road, Pat met Sam Morton with his mobile shop. Take it steady, Pat, said Sam. The roads are flooding up the valley. Oh, the old van will get me through, said Pat. He went on after he brought a bunch of bananas. They were getting to Tunner when they saw Loki honking him to stop. Hello, Loki. What's going on? said Pat. There were terrible floods, Pat. The waters brought tons of earth down and blocked the road. Look! It came to a blockage just a few metres away from the van. Lots of dirt and stones were blocking the road. None of them would get past. Dear me, said Pat. Can't we telephone for help? No, the lines are down. Can't we go round it? It's too dangerous. The beast floods. You could be stuck in it if the land started up again. They heard an engine coming along the road. Here comes Fergie, said Fergie. He's going to try get through himself. Do you think he can do it? Said Pat. I'll have a jolly good try said Fergie. Off he went at top speed towards a pile of stones and earth. His wheels started climbing over them for a minute, but he couldn't get over to the other side. He got stuck so he had to back up. That didn't do any good, said Fergie. We'll have to get help somehow. We George Wood came up. My line's not blocked. So I might get help, he said. Good idea. Find Travis for us. He can clear this lot. I can't. I haven't got a snowplow. He set off the sloping lane. It seemed ages since we George had gone. Pat and Rogie were about to wonder if they would try to move some of the pile one by one. 
when they heard an engine coming, but it wasn't Fergie. It was Turbots about to clean up. Got his message, he shouted. He started moving the pile out of the way. It was clear. Thanks, Tabs. Right you are. They went through the gap. After Sam Baldwin came along in his mobile shop. When he went through, there was just enough room. Burger went next. And Pat went last. Pat delivered the post to a hall. When he was about to leave, he saw Ted mending the wall. He remembered something else, so asked him, Could you mend Pat Pat's roof, Ted? It's got drips in it, falling about. Or oh, pop along when I finish this wall, said Ted, blooming rain. It makes no end of work. As Pat drove out of Tuller, it felt like rain again. But there was a warm fireside to look forward to when all the letters had been delivered. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and Speck and White Pat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and Speck and White Pat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning, Pat feels she's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be not rain. Let you through your door. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and stuck a right cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels she's a really happy man. She's a really happy man. I feel she's a really happy man.